the 1940s, there was a New York socialite who dreamed of becoming a great opera singer. The voice she heard in her head was beautiful, but the truth was she was hilariously awful. And yet she still made it to Carnegie Hall. Meryl Streep and Hugh Grant are delightful in Florence Foster Jenkins, and The Big Bang Theory's Simon Helberg hits all the right notes. Oh, I'm so excited! Uh, We're going to make a recording. <laughs> Bravo! It was wonderful, Bunny. Want to try another take? Well, I don't see why. That seemed perfect to me. When I was 16 years old, my father told me that if I didn't give up music, he'd cut me off. Of course, he didn't understand. Music is my life. Cosme McMoon. That's me, sir. My stroke. This is the talented young man I was telling you about. And let's get started. She's remarkable, isn't she? She can be a little flat. Flat? It defies medical science. Give me this process of how you got involved. Was it the Big Bang Theory that got you this role? Meryl Streep said, we gotta have, you know, Simon. <laughs> she just kept showing up to my dressing room <laughs> on the Big Bang Theory. I was like, wow, this is awkward. Uh, I can get you an audition, Meryl, I guess. But um, no, sh uh, it, was, it was a very odd sort of... Uh, circumstantial thing where I, I had I'd done a tiny movie, a casting director. I actually directed this movie with my wife and we had a casting director who was working on the film and it was a little, little movie. And then a year later, she happened to be working on, uh, on Florence and told Stephen Frears just to hire me. Maestro, do you think I'm ready for a concert? Expand your diaphragm, Florence. <laughs> I think Madame Florence might need more lessons. Please, my wife is ill. Singing is her dream, and I'm going to give it to her. We have to help her, because without loyalty, there's nothing. You know, I played for the president when I was eight years old. Really? Yes, Little Miss Foster, they called me. I had very high hopes of becoming a concert pianist. But then when the nerves were damaged in my left hand, that's not to be. Her condition is improving. What is her secret? Music. She lives for music. That was Florence Foster Jenkins. How did she get on the radio? I lost my left leg at Guadalcanal, but that dame's got me happy to be alive. There are so many moments where your face says it all. I just, yeah. it hurt, you're like your ears hurt or your, I mean, I, I, I don't know how to describe that face of yours. How would no you? No one does. I've asked doctors too. They have, there's no excuse. And uh, no, um, but as McMoon, I mean, as the no, character. for sure, yeah. But and I think part of that came from uh, from the fact that we were doing it, you know, playing this music, and so it that it was, and just really watching Meryl is the easiest job in the world, and and it's different all the time. And there we were playing, and it was so it was genuinely uh, happening, and I, we had to really kind of breathe with each other and, and we were nervous when we were playing in front of an audience because that it was all it felt very real and I think that lent to to the, the sort of the organic quality of it all and then my face is just is what it is. Florence Foster Jenkins is absolutely charming so be sure to look for it in your power zone. <laughs>